Hey guys, uh, with Snook Season opening up, uh, we've taken some Q&A on the jumbo size split shot we're, we're selling. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and show you a little bit about what I do uh, to get out there and snook, snook fish here locally at Cocoa Beach, Port Canaveral, uh, the beaches. Um, and uh, so I want to show you this. This is a three quarter ounce split shot. Um, and the reason a lot of snook anglers like the split shot um, is uh, as opposed to a sliding sinker, uh, you can detect a bite instantly and react to it. Uh, snook are very good at picking up a bait, taking it and spitting it out. Uh, and with a sliding sinker rig, you, you take that risk of, of losing the snook. So a split shot on your line uh, helps solve that problem. Um, and uh, uh, depending on your conditions on the beach or in deeper water along the uh, drop off in the channel at the port, uh, it calls for a bigger split shot. So we have three eighths, half ounce, three quarter and one ounce split shot. Uh, the rig I'm going to put together today is a three-quarter ounce split shot. What I've done uh, on the end of my main line is I've tied an Albright uh, special knot. It's a line-to-line -line knot. Um, I try to stay away from any hardware, no swivels, uh, no metal components at all until you get down to the hook. Uh, and I've left this tag in here on my, my leader line. My leader is a 50-pound mono leader. It's heavy. Um, uh, but uh, for demonstration purposes, I went with it. Um, typically, you'll find me fishing with a 30-pound uh, fluorocarbon leader for the snook. Uh, but for this case, I'm using the 50-pound so you can see it. So I'm keeping that tag in there on a reason. Because when you're using a split shot and you have to crimp it to your line, you don't want to sacrifice your line integrity. Well, this tag in gives you that flexibility. We're going to put the splinter, the splitter, uh, the split shot right on that tag end. Give me a second here. I'll show you how we put this rig together. Right. So, now when you're casting or you're drifting along, you've got your hook on one end, uh, your, your probably a, a live bait circle hook down here uh, for your snook, uh, but here's your main line with your split shot hanging off of the tag end, all right? Uh, if you get caught up uh, on a rock or a ledge or something, that split shot will slide right off. You get to save the rest of your line, you can put another split shot on. If you don't want to lose your split shot, you don't want to risk it coming off, the other thing I'll do is I'll tie a little knot right here on the end of the tag line. Okay? Bear with me. i got to put my glasses on. I turned 50 this year, so it's not, uh, I don't have the best vision that I used to. Of course, we all go through that. This 50 pound test giving me fits here. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie a quick knot in that line and the tag end, okay? So I've got a knot in the tag end of the monofilament. So if you get caught in a ledge or something um, and you don't wanna lose your split shot, it's gonna slide down, it's gonna slide down and that knot's gonna catch your split shot. That way you don't ever lose your split shot, all right, without a real serious tug on the line. Uh, you got your live bait on the other end, uh, quick response time on setting the hook on your snook. And there you go. That's how we catch our snook here in Central Florida. Have a great day.